Hello, my name is Andre. I'm a videographer. I'm the owner and operator of L Vision 2020 Productions. I started up this YouTube channel called Video Pro Solutions. I'm using a Canon C100, which has good autofocus, you know, dual pixel autofocus, but uh, for one, it only really focuses in on the center of the frame. Now, what I did do though, and what you see right now, is me sitting in the center of the frame, which is fine, but I'm also able to go here, and I'm also able to go here. And as you can see, everything's still in focus. Canon C100s have the dual pixel autofocus, which is wonderful. You know what I mean? But with this camera, again, it only focuses in on the center. So anything in the center of the frame is going to always be in focus. Uh, it's going to pull great focus no matter where I put, you know, my finger or whatever. It's going to it's, it's going to pull that focus. You know what I'm saying? It's going to stay pretty decent, which is great. Now, I'm going to go switch the lens to automatic. I have it on manual focus right now. And on most typical lenses, you can either go manual or you can go uh, auto. You know what I mean? So we're gonna switch over to autofocus and I'll demonstrate exactly what I mean so you can see for yourself. All right, here we go. Okay, we're here. We have it on autofocus. Now, I'm in the center of the frame, looks good. Move over here, not so good. All right, move back to the center, perfect. Move over here. Not so good. Now, being as though the lighting is pretty decent over here, kind of focused, but I wouldn't trust it. You know what I mean? Like I said, for, for instance, over here on my shadow side, it's not really in focus, right? You see that, right? So, the way of solving this with the C100 will be just to set focus. I'm gonna go back to manual. I'm gonna make sure Everything's in focus the way I want it, as long as I stay along this focal length and don't go back here. Now everything's out of focus, all right? So you try to stay within that same focal distance. And regardless if you move to the left, you move to the right, everything is still in focus, all right? So quick tutorial on that. Just remember, pull your focus when in doubt. You know, stand at that same distance, make sure the subject is at the same distance and you shouldn't have any problems. All right. Again, my name is Andre. Thanks for watching. I'll be doing more tutorials on the C100. Uh, and by the way, the lens that I of choice with this one was a Canon lens and I'm using a 28 to 75. All right. So with that being said, I'm staying within the 35 millimeter range, um, which is fair for this close up shot. So I don't look too, too weird. You know what I mean? So keep that in mind as well. Focal length, uh, set it. Uh, make sure you know you pull your own focus uh, and don't rely on automatic focus unless you have a newer camera. Like for instance, I have the Canon M50. We'll be doing a tutorial on that full tutorial, which also has great autofocus. Uh, it has a focus where as though I can focus in on the eyes and it will stay with the eyes throughout. You know, no matter where that person goes, as long as we can see the eyes, it's going to follow those eyes so lighting key everything okay pull your focus manually use your lens stay at that same focal distance you shouldn't have any real issues now if the lighting does change things may change going back to autofocus now so y'all can see that once more come back into the center voila perfect all right so thanks for watching feel free to subscribe to the channel I got more tutorials coming soon. I'm working on my lighting, y'all. I'm working on my color grading. I'm also working on, you know, camera lenses and choices of lenses and so on and so forth, camera movement. Uh, so some of the newer stuff you'll be seeing coming from me is going to be a lot different. It's going to be a lot different. Uh, but I'm a storyteller and I enjoy telling stories. So now I'm just going to give y'all a better view. You know, working on my sound, we'll be doing some tutorials on sound as well. So stay tuned for that. Uh, if you have any questions or you'd like for me to work on something, let me know. I mean, again, lighting is everything. Sound is everything. Focal length. You, you got to be familiar with it. You don't want to have a zoom lens on a subject that actually is pretty close. It just wouldn't pull focus right for one. Number two, wouldn't look right. Now, you can make it work depending on the distance in between you and the subject. but 
Another lens you don't want to try for, you know, close-ups is a wide-angle lens. What is a wide-angle lens? Well, wide focal lengths, you know, somewhere around, you know, 12, 18, you know, in that range, 10 even, you know. Um, like, for instance, if you wanted to uh, give the audience an idea of where you are, you can do that, you know, landscape, or you can do that wide shot of the location and then bring them in a little bit closer but remember change that lens when you're inside unless you're going for that crowd shot if you're going for the the crowd shot at a safe distance and keep everything well you shouldn't have any real issues all right so with all that being said just get out there and experiment have fun feel free to subscribe to the channel again my name is andre i'm a videographer and guess what so are you peace